Uh, all right, so let's go to TV for 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 a bit, man. Um, actually, not even for a bit. We can actually gonna be talking a lot about TV, right? But um, Yellow Jackets, boy. All I hear is Yellow Jackets, this Yellow Jackets, that. Yellow Jackets is the best TV show of 2021. Yellow Jackets is one of the best TV shows of 2021. Yellow Jackets is a show that everybody should be talking about it. Nobody talking about it. Blah, 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 blah. Right? And then, well, the reason being why I watch this though is that, you know, the, the, the season finale is so fucked up and all that kind of stuff, right? I'll, I'll talk about that finale in a bit, right? But yeah, what 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 is Yellow Jackets about though? Um, all right, so first off, it is from Showtime, right? Um, you know right. the the you know who who gave us such film su- such shows like um like Dexter, you know, we that and stuff like that, right? Sorry, De- Dexter is the only show that comes to mind, and no, I didn't watch uh you know the the new series that that came out of it. I was going to, but I was like, well, that 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 last season, Moon Mando, like it real Moon Mando. I hear sorry. I hear I hear it start all right, and I hear the finale still should, but not as bad as the last one. Oh, oh, okay, yeah. okay, yeah. shit. <laughs> All right, yeah. but yeah, um, I I went into this completely blind though. I I just knew it 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 just involves a bunch of women, right? Sorry to say that, but it just involves a bunch of women, right? Because yeah, it is uh, uh um, it is a predominantly female cast in this uh, show, right? I mean, of course, you have male actors and whatnot, right? But yeah, so what is it about, right? It it, it starts off with like this um uh, team, right? Of uh, soccer players, well, girls, soccer. Well, sorry, I said soccer, right? Football, you know, as you see in Trinidad, right? So we see it football from now, right? So yeah, this girls' football team, um, in New Jersey, I believe it is, back in '96, right? And they prepared to go to Seattle for this national tournament, right? So while they're flying there, there is an accident, basically. Well, there's some turbulence, basically, and the plane crashes into this forested areas that really establish where it is right um where 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 they where, where they've landed basically right and afterwards though well, well what we've we learned basically because what happens is that you see um a select few of the survivors slight spoiler i mean obviously right yeah a few of the survivors now um actually living um living roughly normal mundane lives in 2021 right because yeah that's where the show keeps zeroing back to right so we kind of see how the lives are at the moment right but it's hinted and it's shown and kind of suggested a lot that the events or i should say the 19 months that they were they were stranded right um affected their lives in like really dark and twisted ways right but then in you know true tv former um fashion it kind of led also to that some people were kind of messed up from the from the word go from the very beginning before they even um got on on board that plane to begin with right so the show just keeps kind of cutting back and forth between where they were stranded in the forest um, them having to learn how to survive, having to learn, well, learning how to hunt. Um, they actually find an abandoned cabin and they stay there, basically. Um, and, slight spoiler again, there's some Lordly Flies kind of stuff going on. So, and, and, and what the show really sets up very well, though, is that there's been a lot of weird shit that took place. So, I want to say weird, I mean like bordering on supernatural type shit, though, right? So, the Peaks, and, the Peaks type thing or what going on with it? Yeah, you know, it, it, in a way, it is like, right. like like Twin Peaks, though, where right. there is some kind of threat, some kind of demonic presence, but it's never said what it is or where it comes from or the what's going on there. Yeah, not but clear. Right? Some, yeah, it's, it's not clear at all, right? But there is something dark and demonic going on behind the scenes, right? But there's also some Lord of the Fly stuff going on here where, you know, one person wants to assume dominance and, you know, there's there's a lot of infighting between the um, between the, the, the survivors as well, right? Um, so we've seen all that going on as well and it's just one weird um, situation after the next, right? And then now it, it cuts back to 2021 now where we're seeing a few of the survivors themselves, uh, one of which is... Uh, well, I'll just call out the, the 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 mean ones, right? So we have Shona, who's played by Melanie Linsky. We have um, Tysa, who's played by Jasmine Savoy Brown. We have um, Natalie, who is played by Juliet Lewis. Um, her younger version is played by right. Sophie Thatcher. She would be. Uh, I was watching. Face like, oh yeah, you from the Book of Boba Fett? You're one of the. <laughs> 
the um the the the, the bikers the bikers yeah. that have uh, that boba higher uh, right you know the one the one chick there right that that's yeah, it, right? Yeah, yeah right yeah right um we have uh misty who is played by Christina Ritchie. I was like, oh shit, you were this too? What? The other week, last time we saw her, she make a little brief appearance in uh, Matrix. Matrix um, yeah. yeah, well, the new Matrix movie, right? Resurrections, right? And um, yeah, I'll, I'll, I'll just stop with those four. Okay, really set this on those four, right? And there's some shenanigans involving, well, you know, the anniversary of the of the of the plane crashing and all that kind of stuff. And uh, I believe it's like what, well, yeah, 25th anniversary, I believe it was, right? Um, well, well, basically from them going to the nationals, basically, right, and them surviving through the ordeal and all that kind of stuff, right? But you know, there's this nosy reporter who wants to know more about what went down because people talking about cannibalism and other freaky sh- um, shit that took place there, right? Uh, there's someone trying to blackmail them, right, for for reasons, right? And that's all the stuff that's going on behind the scenes as well, right? But it always kind of comes back to their experiences in those woods back in 96 and how their lives would change forever, right? And I'll stop there, right? So get to, just to get this out of the just all right, so let's just get the, just to get this out of the way, guys. Um I know that there is a, a yellow jackets bandwagon for this. I know there's a hype train for this though. I could I totally understand why there is one. But um, honestly, I am not part of that hype train, though. Like, it is, right. don't get me wrong, it is a really, really great show. But the way people are talking about it, I, you know, I was thinking at Ted Lasso level, I just this now. Yeah. Right. Yeah, but, but yeah, it's, it's, it's not that, guys. It's, it's not that, right? What I will say, though, is that it is a solid first season, right? Because you got to keep that in mind. This is the first season, right? But just like shows like, say, Breaking Bad or Succession or or Twin Peaks, right? There is so much more that 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 there is that um that will come in subsequent seasons, though. And um, I I was just like, yeah, I can't wait. Like literally at the end of the finale, I was like, yeah, give me season two, like right now. I can't wait, right? But in no way would I say that this is like you know one of the best shows ever, right? I don't want to say that at the moment. I want this show to kind of grow and develop, and then we could call that, right? Not, not all for the first season, because the first season is just, you know, the setup and just understanding characters and all that kind of stuff, right? It's not like it, it, it changed in the game all of a sudden, right? No. Uh, speaking of characters, I, I think what the show kneels near perfectly, in my opinion, is the, the char- uh, is characterization, right? Um, it, it, it just easily could have just been, you know, just these bunch of teenagers, right, in the woods, and Eventually, they grow to hate each other, and then they want to kill each other, right? But no, um, they, they they build a lot of character in both in both um eras, right? Both in '96 and in two, uh, 2021, right? Um, and it's to the point where you know, it's to the point basically where you're not really sure how you should view them, right? Like you you might root for one or two of the characters because of how they play the one, not like case in point, um, the way how Christina Ritchie um plays Misty, right? Or how Juliet Lewis plays um Natalie. And you know, they always have like, you know, a moment where like, ah oh, yeah, I like that. That's some great moments. And there's there's great acting across the board, right? Uh, Melanie Linsky in particular. This is the one that a lot of people are going to be um, zeroing in on because yeah, the, the the story pretty much centers on her and her situation, right? I don't want to spoil anything beyond that, right? And you know, if 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 you want to see who is the MVP in this, it's her because yeah, she right. she just she just she she kills it throughout. Too. She's she's very believable, right? But at the same time, they 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 are they they aren't perfect, right? They 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 are very 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 flawed. They do some. They they are inept at times. Sometimes you might kind of wonder, like, why would you do some dumb shit like that, though? But given the situation, what it is, because it it it's always like in the twenty twenty one scenario, it's always about oh, I'm trying to cover my tracks. I don't want to be caught. I'm doing something that nobody should know about and all that kind right. of stuff, right? So it's always about kind of trying to keep that side of you secret but it always comes out in these really like inept and yeah dumb at times but you know it's kind of practical you know like it's just like yeah eventually you would drop the ball here and you know you, you get me out here that right so there's a lot, a, lot, a lot of moments like that especially with uh with uh her character right with melanie's character right but um Really, the cell, of course, is the stuff in 96 and what went on there, right? Because, like, the opening sequence alone, they hint at something so incredibly dark and messed up, right? I don't want to see what it is, right? And they're there, like, thinking, okay, well, the show is eventually, well, in this season, I should say, eventually going to tell you how it all started, right? And they kind of do, but they, do, they just kind of give you bits of information. So it always leaves you guessing, though, right? 
But for me, I felt like at times they just relied on that technique too much, right? It's not a mystery box show, fortunately, right? It's not a mystery box show. Right. I know, Ricardo, you're not a fan of that, right? But I, it's, yeah. it's not that. It's <laughs> not that, right? You, 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 you kind of know what's going on. You, 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 it, it, it's not like, oh, where are we? And what happened to the plane? And, you know, uh, why right, this? Right. Why that? No, no, no. It's just the stuff that's left in the open is just what what caused, you know, certain people to be rescued and other people to not be rescued, right? right? And it hints at a lot of stuff. If you're familiar with survival horror, you kind of know what you can expect from it, right? And speaking of survival horror, yes, there's, there's, there's bits of horror elements in this as well too, right? Uh, which, which which works for me. I know for some people it might work where it's like, okay, well, you have to do this trope. They might feel it might, it might rely too much on tropes. Uh, like, okay, we have to do this. We have to do this. All right, been there, seen that. Okay, in a cabin. All right demons okay evil dead you know we like you do the right. connections now but i felt they were more like subtle homages than okay we have to do this because we kind of had to be a horror but it's not right and um for me this more kind of falls on see uh it's more psychological right than anything else it's a drama primarily right but you know you oftentimes have these horrific moments right like yeah there's some graphic violence in this right but it's not too much of it, right? Like it would just kind of come unexpectedly, right? And always kind of catch you off guard, right? I love that about the show, right? But in no way would I call this a horror show, even though there are some supernatural horror be stuff in it. In, in a way, it is like um Twin Peaks, where primarily Twin Peaks is a mystery slash drama, but there there are some horror elements that show. But in no way is Twin Peaks a horror, right? Um, and just how they set those things up, do I thought were were very, well, it it just always kept you on edge they always kept you on edge right and um just because of the character characterization alone you see the you know just how you see the falls from graces the basically with you know a majority of the characters here right. you know like they, you there's, know there's always some kind of there's always something off about everyone like everybody there's something always kind of strange about them right i don't want to say what it is but there's always something kind of off but it, it always feels like to me like how the, the show feels like right it feels like, um, and I know this is like a familiar thing when it comes to TV shows, because they smack dab in this place now, like the place itself, like the environment that they're in kind of heightened those flaws, heightened those those issues with them. And it just kind of heightened it to the point that they, their lives are like forever changing. They're scarred for life basically, right? But yeah, you see? No, yeah. Um, okay, it'll slip in my mind what, what show thematically it's, it reminds me of, but um, I was just thinking it playing with the conceit of the cancel culture premise no? like oh well that's what people concerned about you know it's a talking point and you know why why it is you should be you know this idea of hiding your past blah 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 because people going use it against you yeah that stuff no? like that I, again that right okay it's never mind what you wanted to reference that to but whatever it'll come to me um right but yeah. right uh, uh but well i'll, I'll yeah. just i'll just there's a few more things i want to mention before i get to read it right but yeah um that that really at the, at the heart is what the story is about it's just your past right and that's a really strong team right um how do we hide the scars of our past is it is it worth hiding it at all even like if you you know as, as a majority of the characters do in 2021 you know what i mean um, um start a family right and all that kind of stuff right, right. that is the, is it is it worth bottling those those, those uh, hiding those secrets or you know if, if if or if some way somehow somebody's gonna put that out in the open put those secrets out in the open what are you gonna do right and um again like how i see just how some characters were flawed even before they they, they step on foot that that um that plane some will scat will, will flawed afterwards though but it's just the idea that you know and it's it's again just left in the air we don't really know all the details that went down during those 19 months right but you know it's some dark messed up fucked up shit right but right. it's again it's like how do we look at these people 25 years after that fact right it could say it's a matter of survival we had to do what we had to do right as a good thing that they brought up um uh you know there was this i remember um there was a movie fit alive. I think it came on in '93 about this um, Chilean team, uh, football right, team right. that you know crashed the Andes and they had to resort to, to cannibalism to survive. Right. Right. Yeah. So uh, you know there was kind of touch of that um, a bit that they actually brought up the the incident, not the film, right? So yeah, you know when you think about a moment like that, you think, well, yeah, you had to do what you had to do to survive, right? Whatever is is he is he circumstances, right? But then you you seen all this other stuff going on now, and you're like, right. well. Wait, what really going on here? You, you, you're kind of warning. Okay, this is this, you know, is this is this demon possession? Is this you know, um, 
people under the influence, but why would it make you murderous? And you know, it, it's all these questions that the show, you know, keeps asking, you know, and and it just always kind of leaves you just kind of wand- wondering and wanting more, right? But I just love the fact that it's not in a mystery box fashion where we have to keep constantly asking, 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 asking questions, right? The show will ask the questions for you, but it will always kind of answer. It will answer. It will just give you. Like an answer, and then I'll leave leave to another question, right? So I love that, right? Um, also, I mean, directing wise, it's great, uh, but really, what what sells it is the acting, the performances, um, and not just from the adult versions of the characters, but the 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 teenager versions of the characters as well too. I thought that, yeah, they 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 brought it as well too. Um, and also, lastly, last before we get to read to do, uh, because we touched on nostalgia with that film with that with the show in particular. Um, the soundtrack for this too. Okay, there are like a lot of like radio songs, a lot of billboard hits that you hear throughout the series, throughout, throughout right. the season. Sorry, no, because like it's so it's like a uh, yeah, it, it, it really is like you know, like one of those like throwback you know, mixtapes basically. They, you know, like you just hear like some kind of compilation of greatest hits, right? But it's like these deep cuts, you know, we, you know, typical like you know, grunge and rock and contemporary music and stuff like that you, you, you hear a lot of that there's even a moment that uh, i believe is the the premiere where you hear snows in former general like wow okay in, in 96 people will still listen to that all right yeah. <laughs> okay but yeah i mean the former is a classic right but yeah I big mean, up canadians like snow the informer. yeah 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 big up big up canadians like snow but yeah but um but yeah i mean the the choice of songs though were, were, were great as well i must say right and um Last, last thing that I get to read it, right? So the ending, right? The, the, the final episode, right? Was I say season finale, can we get a season two? It is not, while it is not fucked up in my opinion, I don't think it is at all, right? Uh, there are a few things though where it's like, oh shit, you know what I mean? It's just like, what? You know what I mean? Like it real messes you up though. But it's not like, you know, Walking Dead season seven premiere, right? Which if if you remember, like just shocked a lot of people and you know, just disturb them to no de- to to no degree, like how it did with me, right? I like I I thought it was gonna be like that though, where it's like just this straight out like torture first number. It's not that, right? It's just shit literally hit to the fan and just things happening, and then where it just ends again. Like I said, I was just like, all right, bring out season two, guy. Want to see what happens next? Day. You know, that's the sell. It just always keeps um viewers guessing, right? But in no way again would I see this is like one of the best shows ever made. You know, at the moment, not yet. Let me let me give it a, a couple more seasons. Maybe a season two might my wow us, and then then we could talk about it. We could bring that in the into the discussion, right? But I do see this being one of the best of the decade. I call this one time, right? There is, I mean, there is the chance that it could fall apart, and you know, just similar to like a, a Dexter, right, or other shoes that started off strong and just fell apart near the end, right? But now nah, I, I see any potential in this. I know there's yeah. a lot more rich storytelling, a lot more characterization they could dive into, and there's a lot of <laughs> just and also what the show has a lot to is a lot of dark humor in it though. Because yeah, you, you have a lot of graphic moments, all that kind of stuff. But but, but I feel like behind the scenes it's just it's just dark humor. It it, it feels like that, right? Um you know, I mean yeah, there are times where yeah you really feel the the the, bre- the the brevity of what's going on, right? But at the same time there are some moments where it's like, okay, you're 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 just fucking with us, right? <laughs> right? I like that, right? So yeah, rated wise, I'm gonna give this. Um, I like a decent four to five. This is season what I'm talking about, right? This is a really, 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 really good show here. Um, but honestly, I can't see that this is one of the best shows that I've seen. But I know, like, even though this, yeah, uh, this season wrapped up this year, this, uh, I have a feeling that it will show up probably in a lot of best of uh, 2022 lists, right? Um, I know it was showed up in uh, best of 2021 for sure, right? But yeah, I mean, I, I understand why people love it a lot, though. But for me, I just see it like it's a first season, right? It's, it, you're being introduced to the world for the first time. You have a lot of great things about it, but it's not like the best show ever. No, 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 no right? But there's a lot of good in it. I, I, I see the show just, you know, keeping that momentum going and just getting better and better and better, right? Um, but yeah, by all means, give it a watch, man. I, I think I think you all enjoyed that for sure. 